Hello, hello. Eso Toreto, corra Toreto. Run, run, run. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Tengo el micrófono apagado. Tengo cuidado, cu cuidado. Good evening, teacher. Daisy, my God. Daisy, my God. It's your first day with license. Please be careful. Oh, my God, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm going Daisy to visit my, my mother. Furioso. <laughs> Don't worry, but be careful. Be careful. Yes. I'm <laughs> going to visit my mother in my car. Oh, my God. <laughs> Niña. Yeah, I, I, I heard you. Okay, don't worry, but be very careful. Okay, focus on the street and listen to me. Don't worry, but focus on the street. Okay. <laughs> my goodness. <laughs> I have a yes. question. Yes. For, uh... What is the what is the four correct to use the kinda? The what? Uh, kinda. Kinda. What's that? Por eso estoy preguntando. Es una palabra que utilizan mucho los americanos. Ah, um, kinda. No sé cómo se pronuncia. Solo he visto que, que escribe kinda. Por eso pregunté cuál es el momento. <laughs> no, no, no. It's like ah, okay. Okay, let me explain. And okay, I'm sorry. And no, no, no. It's okay. And it's a good question. It's a good question. But uh, you, I think you have seen this one. And I will share it here. Let me write it for you here. And it's like that. Yeah, yeah. And this is kind of. Oh, kind of. Okay. It's kind of. For example, you can say, just to use it in a sentence, for example, uh, it is kind of uncomfortable. Let's say, okay, uh, no, it's it, it is kind of, okay, unusual to see uh, lions in El Salvador, let's say. It's just like, it's just to invent a sentence, right? But when you use it in pronunciation, you can say it's kind of unusual. It's kind of unusual. It's kind of unusual. Kind of. Kind of. Si es que una de las frases que he visto que utilizan es, example, uh, I kind of um, uh, bored. I am kind of bored, yes. Mm -hmm. And, but the, the thing is that, for example, this is good in pronunciation, mm -hmm. but it's not good in writing. Uh, it's not okay. correct to write uh, this type of uh, short forms in in writing. It is not it is not appropriate. But they use it, right? And you say like, I am kind of bored. Okay, I am kind of bored. It's like como aburrido, right? I am kind of bored. This is like the correct form. Yeah. But when you when you pronounce it, you say kind of. I'm kind of bored. But this is the pronunciation, okay? It's okay. like, it's like wanna. You yeah. say like, I wanna go. Yeah, mm -hmm. wanna is the pronunciation form. Yeah, but they got it. They, uh huh. It's so like, uh, I'm gonna go, you say. And it's the same, but these are the pronunciation forms. And in many okay. of the, um, for, in many of the like informal English, you will see it in songs, in movies, in um, for in informal situations, you can use it. But for example, in educational writing or in important papers or stuff, no, right? Not uh, the contractions or the short forms are are proper to use. But it's good. It's a very good question. Sí, es que había preguntado porque veo mucho los americanos que ponen solo kin, eh, que como dice kind of, kind of. I'm, I'm, sorry. I'm um, kind of bored. Oh yeah, yeah Kina, but, wanna... but that is that it's informal English, right? When when you talk, oh, for okay, example, okay. in conversations and stuff, that's correct. But for example, if you ah, are going okay. to go to a to a job interview, so mm -hmm. you can say like I'm kind of bored, right? But try to to pronounce correctly, right? Okay, thank you, chair. The, the tip. Okay, hi everybody. Thank you very much. That was the tip of the day with Teacher Nati. Hi, Teacher. Okay. Hello, teacher. welcome. Good evening. Good evening, I'm honey. Good evening. Hi, Noemi. Good evening, teacher. This Hello. day, he just make an an appearance again last night. Okay, I, how, but how are how are night. you how are you feeling? ¿Cómo se ha sentido? 
Mm, sleep. And um, in the night, uh, cool sleep and I did have a good day. Oh. Monday is better. Oh my God. So you say, I could, I couldn't. I could. I, I could. couldn't. I couldn't. Sleep. Sleep. I couldn't or sleep. you can say, I didn't sleep. I didn't sleep well. well. I didn't sleep well is like when you were like. Yes. When you were. Uh, this is a, a new a new word. Tossing and turning. Do you know what's the meaning of tossing and turning? It's not. <laughs> no, it's yes. not tossing. Okay. Yes. Tossing and turning is when you are on your bed and you are like. And you don't find a position in your bed. So you say, uh, I, uh, no, no, no. When you are on your bed and you move to one side, mm -hmm. to the other one, to the other mm -hmm. one, and yeah. you don't find, and you don't My find a space. is tossing <laughs> all night. Mm. So that, yeah, a, a, a lot of children uh, spend the night tossing and turning. Que no se hayan, yo no sé cómo descansan. <laughs> but they are in all the bed. So yeah. that is that is the meaning of tossing and turning. So, um, so uh, Noemi, try not to talk that much because of the cough, and uh, we're going to be here uh, pendant of you, okay? So for Thank all you. the rest of you, welcome to your Friday class. I am very glad to have you here, and for sure to see all your beautiful faces. I cannot see Albita, Alejandro, Andrea, and Daisy, and Brian. I cannot see Brian either. And I think mean that it's connecting. Thank you. Remember to keep your cameras on because we, uh, we uh, participate of the class better if we have the camera on. So today, many of you were asking about the different exercises on the platform. Aha, I got you. que no hayan terminado ese. <laughs> and it says, okay, con persona americana, what is this? Que oh, thank you. De Discord para que entren si quieren practicar con americanos, gente que está aprendiendo inglés. Yay. Por escrito y por, por, por habla. Hey, that's fantastic. Si no saben utilizarlo, vayan al... al... Al YouTube y aprendan a usarlo. No, <laughs> Thank es cierto. A, no me pregunten va a YouTube. No, no, no es eso. Gracias por la información. Que... Thank you. Thank you. Siempre le he pasado, compañera Iris. Siempre oh. le pasaste el módulo uno. Okay, that's very good. No, that, that's really useful. That's really useful. And another one that it's very good is I'm going to send it there. And it's Así called. Así que aprovechenlo. Yeah, definitely. Uh, this one is another good site for you to go and practice your speaking. Uh, I send it to you on the chat. So uh, on the chat in WhatsApp, in WhatsApp, in, in Zoom. Okay, well, today we are going to work a little bit on uh, the different participles as adjectives. We are going to work uh, a bit on the different re relative clauses. So we have a lot to do today, but we are going to start as we need to do it because it is part of the of uh, the form that I use for working to make sure that all of you have finished the different sections of the platform. I know the platform has one pace and for sure the classes have a different pace and this is kind of complicated to manage in some cases, but it is always necessary, right, to, for us to make a stop and actually think and check on the platform. What is the meaning of pace, people? Pace. What is the meaning of pace? No idea? It's called ritmo. That's the pace, right? The platform has a pace and the classes have a different pace, but we need to kind of balance them and try to work and advance more on the platform because that is uh, the first thing that it's really necessary. And then we clarify more things during the class, right? For this moment of uh, the module, we should have finished all section three and the midterm tests, 
right? And I think all of you have already finished that. I know Anita has already finished everything, <laughs> right? Good job. So from all my class, people, who hasn't finished the midterm exams? ¿Quién no ha terminado la parte de los midterm? Teacher, I have the problem Me. in the medium. Okay. Medium. Okay, so we are going to do it right now. Alejandro, very good. It's okay, right? The idea is that we are in the same page. Okay, it is Noemi and Nat. Okay, and for all Cinco the rest. I finished, teacher. <laughs> but why finished. you ask? Okay, good, good. Ask people, okay? Siempre, yo ahí estoy rapidito para ayudarles. Ahora alguien preguntó y pum, al ratito ya le había ayudado. Ask, right? Don't worry, ask. It's good. If you get stuck on something, teacher, I don't understand this, help me. And I can help you on the moment, right? Uh, in some si cases, I... Porque pedí ayuda, si no, no lo terminaba. <laughs> eh, dice, uh -huh. pero mi, mi problema es que la plataforma no me lo agarra. Yo lo escribo como tiene que ser, como lo tengo, pero no lo agarra. Lo he borrado, lo he copiado, lo he puesto. Y hay tres preguntas que no me las agarra. Okay, so maybe we need to check what are you writing. Y ahí puedo ver yo en qué nos estamos equivocando. Because in some cases, it's just one little thing. In some cases, it's the period or the capital or the space, right? We need to check. So please, uh, well, I'm going to do it right now and you can check it. And then uh, you, if you try and it doesn't work, you can send me the screenshot and I can analyze what's going on, okay? So that's good. Let's do it right now. Okay, in this one, yes? And I agree with you. I resolved the, the problem uh, because uh, I had more space or uh, I, I missed the period. Exactly. Uh, and for that, it uh, doesn't work. Yeah, the, the platform is really sensitive in those cases, right? That if you write the sentence, but you don't put the period, X. If you write the sentence and you leave a space, X. If you write the sentence and you miss one letter, X. <laughs> so we need to be very, very careful with that. Okay, in this section, in section number three, we have a one, two, three, four different evaluations, right? We did these ones in the previous check that we did, but uh, we're going to kind of check it again. This was an easy part, right? And I was explaining you that uh, the difference between the ING form and the ED forms. So when you use, for example, this ones, uh, they have different meanings at the moment of using it. A meaning when you use ING and a meaning when you use ED. So if you say, for example, John Johnny Depp is a very amazed actor. He, I mean, the, the actor is like amazed. It's like, oh, él está sorprendido. No podemos decir que Johnny Depp está muy sorprendido. Es un actor muy sorprendido because we don't really know that. But we can say that he is an amazing actor. Que él es fantástico. Okay? <laughs> Amaze is like oh, surprise. So it's like kind of the meaning of surprise. But it's the feeling that can cause on the person. And you cannot use this one in this case. This is an amazing actor because that is what you perceive from Johnny Depp. I find animated films amused or amusing? Amused? Yes. Amused. Amusing. Okay. Amused is the feeling that you have. Amusing is what it causes on you. Okay. Amusing is, uh, it's um, divertido in Spanish. And in this case, the other one, it doesn't say amused. It says amazed. And it's not correct because amazed is with Z. And it's not possible, right? So, esa es la, correcta, la forma correcta de escribir amazed. Y aquí tenemos amazed con S. So, it's not even possible for the answer, right? Amusing. I am not, I am not interested. Es que no estoy interesado. I am not interested. It doesn't call my attention. But if it says, I am not interesting, yo no soy interesante. And it's like, ay, qué aburrida la teacher, no es interesante. <laughs> That's different. The meaning is different, right? I am not interested in science fiction movies. It means that no me interesan, no me gustan, right? I am not interested, right? In this one, 
I am bored Bore. by watching television or boring by watching television. Bore. Uh huh. Which one did Bore. you use? Boring. Bored. 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 Really? Bored because boring. We, we were Bore. using ing and in, in watching. Uh -huh. no, but it, this is a different thing, right? Watching is like the 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 action. Okay. You say that you use board, really, and you finish the platform already. Yeah, board. Or... Okay, I am bored by watching television. I will I will do it. I will check it for you. Don't worry. <laughs> you will see in a moment. I thought Jurassic Park was an excited book. Exciting. Exciting. Exciting book. Porque el libro no puede estar emocionado, right? Because if not, it would be like, imagine that this is the book, and it would be like, oh, yes, yay! <laughs> it's not possible, right? The book cannot be excited. It's like, yeah, read me! No, it's not possible, right? <laughs> Sir, uh, what happened with Born is that I understood on the video that when we use ED, we are expressing a feeling. Uh -huh. when, we, when we are using ING, we are describing uh -huh. something. Exactly. And that's what happened with bored, that I'm bored. I'm expressing that I am expressing my feeling. I'm bored by watching television, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, I am going to check it in a moment. Don't worry. That's why I said, okay, that's what you say. Give me a second, I said, and then that's that's what I said, but I will go back for that one. And it says, I am fascinated or fascinating. Fascinated. I'm fascinated, right? I'm fascinated. Estoy encantado. I'm fascinated by J.R.R. Tolkien's novels, right? It is surprising or surprised that horror movies are so popular. Surprising. It's surprising, right? It's right. sorprendente right. how they are so famous. I was really oh. okay. it was, okay. Shocked. I was really shocked. It was a feeling that I had, right? I was really shocked by the price. It was like, oh, what? <laughs> My salary <laughs> on the tag. <laughs> the mess was. Disgusting. Disgusting. disgusting, right? It was disgusting. disgusting. It was like disgusting. <laughs> Porque el, el, el desorden no puede estar disgustado, right? El desorden. Ay, no. <laughs> the mess was disgusting. I always find thrillers too confusing. Confusing, confusing right? So you say that it was correct. And in this case, when you say I am bored by watching television, right? You have a Netflix, you have YouTube, you have everything and say like, I know, that's so aburrido. Because you cannot say I am boring. Because if not, imagine if you say like, I am boring by watching television. If I have you in my house and I will say like, hoy vamos a ver tele, solo tele vamos a ver. Entonces dicen, ay no, la Natalie, que aburrida, solo tele, ve. Because the other person is feeling it. It is not you, but in that case, the feeling is yours. So it says, I am bored by watching television. No, I don't want to do it anymore. In this case, it's it was correct. It was bored, right? I am bored by watching television. You are feeling that. And this was like the difference. We're going to study a little bit more on um, this uh, topic in the class, but we had that part. The next one, how did you like it? In this one, you had to use a listening for uh, the options. And it says, listen to people talk about books and movies. Check the adjective that best describes what they say about each one. And here we have four different adjectives. Let's listen to them. And let me just share my audio as well. There you go. And let's do it. As always. <laughs> there we go. Hey, cosita hermosa. Page 88. <laughs> Exercise 5. Listening. How did you like it? Part A. Listen to people talk about books and movies. Do you think each person would recommend the book or movie? 1. What did you think of the new Stephen King book? 
Oh, once I got started, I couldn't stop reading. I stayed up till four o'clock in the morning to finish it. And wasn't the ending great? Yeah, it really was. Such a surprise. And the whole story moved along so fast, too. Two. How did you like the movie? Well, I walked out after half an hour. You did? Yeah. It was so dull that I started falling asleep. And I've never seen such bad acting from Jim Carrey. Oh, really? He's usually pretty good. Well, not in this movie. I wish he'd choose better roles. <laughs> Three. What did you think of that documentary about Australia? I learned so much. I didn't know they had so many different kinds of animals there. And the photography. Yeah, it was something, wasn't it? Uh-huh. It was pretty amazing. It made me really want to go there and see it for myself. Four. Have you read that book that just came out about UFOs? Yeah, what a waste of time. Just the same silly stuff about visitors to Earth from other planets. Uh-huh. It said absolutely nothing new. You know, I'm sick of hearing stories about little green creatures. If they're real, how come no one can ever take a picture of them? <laughs> That's what I say. <laughs> Page 88. Okay. Exercise 5. Part B. There you go. So, in this case, uh, here we have a uh, terrific, right? The first person, right? Do you agree with my answers, by the way? Just in the third one, I don't understand why uh, the, the guy is, is saying that uh, it was very interesting, everything, but I didn't understand why the option is I don't, I don't remember if it is terrific or dreadful. Okay. Dreadful? But he was like, he was like amazed. Uh, I didn't understand that option. Okay. The meaning of terrific is when something is extremely fantastic. It's like, ah, oh, that's terrific. It is not terrible. Okay. That's something that we can confuse terrible with terrific no terrific is like amazing fantastic fascinating it's a it's a meaning of yes. that adjective dreadful dreadful is when it causes fear okay the meaning of dreadful is something that causes suffering or pain okay or a uh, unhappiness that's the meaning of dreadful cuando te causa tristeza o dolor o mucho pesar that is the meaning of dreadful okay okay and that's that's a different. Thank you, teacher. Yeah, and boring is like that's like oh no, and why the person felt boring in this case? Like he fell asleep for the whole movie. He was like, huh? The <laughs> acting of Jim Carrey was boring. The acting of Jim Carrey was boring. I remember when the Avengers came out. And everybody were like, hey, so fascinated about the movie, right? And my husband was so excited to go. And we went to the movies. We pay for the movie. And I slept for the whole movie. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I pay to sleep at the movies. <laughs> Richard, that happened to me uh, with the movie Gravity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and you know, I, I entered to the movies, right? Ah, very happy with my popcorn, right? I finished eating and then I fell asleep for the three or I don't remember how many hours. But then when I woke up, everybody were like, yeah, what an amazing movie. And I was like, huh? huh? <laughs> it was just, I paid to go to sleep in air conditioner. <laughs> so, I was very tired. <laughs> So yeah, on my defense, I was very tired. So this was uh, the exercise on the listening. And that's the meaning of dreadful and terrific. Now we know two different adjectives. And in this one, you were fighting for this one in the afternoon. And I send it to you. In this case, when you use these types of relative clauses, it's for you not to repeat the subject anymore. Okay? Para que no volvamos a decir. He is a movie director. He made the film whole. Okay, for you not to repeat. And he's very famous. And he won the Oscar. And he won this. For you not to repeat, you use relative clauses for you to join sentences. In this case, you say he is a movie director. He made the film Hulk. 
you are talking about a person. And in this case, if you are talking about a person, you use the relative clause, who, who, right? Because you are talking about a person, right? He is a movie director who made the film Hulk, right? Who is in this case? You are talking about he, right? Who está reemplazando a la persona de la que estamos hablando, right? He is a movie director. He made the film Hulk, but who made the film Hulk? Like, él es el director quien hizo la película de Hulk. So you change, in this case, the relative clause. Or you can use, he is a movie director that made the film Hulk. In this case, that can replace who, and it's the same meaning, okay? But it is very common to use who for a subject. And in this case, we have, who is Ang Lee? He is a movie director, he made the film Hulk. And who made? And in this case, in the first example, who is Ang Lee? He is the movie director. He made the film Hulk. Ahí lo tenían en el ejemplo. <laughs> so you just had to copy the example, right? In this one. I send it to you here. I have them re here, the answers that I send you. And it says, he is a movie director who made the film Hulk. Hulk con mayúscula, punto, eh, eh, inicial mayúscula. In some cases, the problem is the apostrophe. Ocupamos el apóstrofe que no es a veces. Y por eso no la agarra la plataforma. You have to be very careful. You can copy. <laughs> you can copy the one that I sent and paste it. So that's no problem. In this one. Have you heard of Pirates of the Caribbean? Yes. It is an action movie. It starts Johnny Depp. Or Johnny Depp. In this case, you are talking about the movie. You are not talking about the person. So that's why you use which. Which. Okay, which starts Johnny Depp. Okay. It is an action movie which starts Johnny Depp. In this case, which you are talking about Pirates of the Caribbean, right? The movie. Teacher. Yep. And that is in both, in person and in, in No, object. no, no. No, when you are talking about a person, it's who or that. And mm -hmm. if you are talking about an object, which? Which? Okay. Okay. Yeah, you have to be careful when you join this, the two sentences. You have to know who you are going to replace. So if you are going Amazing. to replace the subject, who, and if it is something like the movie in this case, which. In this one, what is Chicago? It's a musical about a girl. She becomes a celebrity. ¿De quién estamos hablando aquí? ¿Del musical o de la chica? The musical. Uh -huh. The musical. The girl. You are talking about the girl. Okay, yeah. what is Chicago? It says, it's a musical about a girl. Y en la siguiente oración tenemos, she becomes a celebrity. So the one that we are going to omit is she. Okay, I so guess. in this case, who? Tell who? me, Nadia. Teacher, please, can you repeat when we use um, which, um, who, please? Okay. Okay. And I, I have a, a question about, about which okay. is when we use about thing and animals too? Yes. Or... When you are replacing a subject, right? A person, you use who or that. And which is for the other situations, right? If you are talking about uh, an object, a situation, right? Or something, you use which. But only for the person you use who or that. Erika? For Nadia? Teacher, uh, wait, wait. And the number two, why use uh, that in the second example? Because uh, it's possible. You can use who or that for person. Podemos usar who or that para reemplazar el sujeto si es una persona. But, Entonces, in the first, but in the first sentence, use which? No, in the number two, on the dice. Yes, is an action movie which star Johnny Depp. Uh -huh. Or yes, in an action movie that okay. use which and that. Yeah, porque that puede reemplazar ambos. Pero el más común cuando estamos hablando de cosas es which. Okay, para que no nos confundamos, que no nos pase eso, ¿verdad? Pero okay. es, es este lo por ejemplo en este caso who no es posible, pero that yes, right? Okay. Because it's just to make it clear. It's very general when you use that. When you use that, it's really general, and you can you can use it as well. But the most common thing is to use which, and for a person who. Okay, that is like you. the option that we have, right? Si no nos acordamos, 
that. <laughs> when okay, you are, thank you. In your real life, right? In real life, when you want to talk about something, it's like, I, I don't really remember, I would use that. <laughs> That's the el comodín, right? In this okay. case, that. But in this case, we, it's not possible to use who in this case. Okay, okay thanks. And Nadia, what was your question? That's all, teacher. It's, okay. It's only which. Okay, which, in this case, which is for, for the option. In this case, you are talking about the movie. So the option, the best option that we have is which. Uh, teacher, and the, when we, we use which uh, for the animals? Like, for example, so like, um, uh, I think for the animals, it would be better if you use that. Okay, a lion is okay. a very wild animal that can eat you. <laughs> it will be possible because it's like, which can eat you? It's also possible. But in that case, if you say like, for example, if you're talking about your cat, your dog, eh, it's something that is really important for me. You can use that for that case. Okay, so in this one, we have number three. It's a musical about a girl who becomes a celebrity. This is the one that we were talking about. You are replacing the girl, she. And the next one, it was a great book, which was hard to put down. You are talking about the book because it says, did you enjoy John Grisman's latest novel? Yes, it was a great book. It was hard to put down. When you use it in this case, you are talking about the book. So in this case, you say, which was hard to put down or that was hard to put down in this case, if you are talking about a, an object. I have some other examples there that we are going to focus and practice, okay? I brought you more sentences like this ones. So, but in this one, I send you the answers on the chat. If you have problems with spelling, copy them in the spaces, right? Si tienen problemas tal vez con la escritura o algún espacio o algo, Copy the ones that I send you and use these ones, okay? And let's continue with the next one here. We have one more. And this one was about the reading. In this case, in honor of the time, we're, we're going to read it in the, in the class. It says, uh, she hated going to school, but she always loved to read. Who was this person? Or where did you find it in paragraph one, two, three, or four? Did you read the reading? Uh, it was paragraph uh, two. Paragraph two. When asked about this popularity, she has said, I really wrote it for myself. I, I, I read I read this article and when I when I had to answer the questions, I I didn't I didn't find the 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 cor correlation between okay, the, the the questions and the between the answer with the article. I I, I didn't find honestly. Okay, it says. And that's the unique part that I I didn't finish. Okay, and it says here, for example, she hated going to school but always loved to read. In this case, it says. Uh, Let's read the paragraph for us. There was a time yes. when no one knew the name Harry Potter. Now the adventures of this extraordinary student of Howard's School of Witchcraft and Wizardry are read in over 45 languages, including Russian, Thai, and even ancient Greek. Mm -hmm. uh, no one can explain the Harry Potter phenomenon, not even J.K. Rowling, his creator. J.K. Rowling was born in England in 1965 from a young age. She knew she wanted to be a writer. When she was six, she wrote her first story about a rabbit that gets sick. At school, she used to make stories to tell her friends. After graduating from college, she worked as a secretary, but she didn't give up her dream. She spent her lunch hour writing stories mainly for adults. Then in 1990, on a train trip to London, she got the idea for the big wizard. She said, uh, the whole cast of unique characters to help Harry Potter battle the forces of darkness. She kept working on the story while she was teaching English in Portugal, where she married and had her first child. 
and divorced a year later. Oh my God, <laughs> she was very quick. When she returned to England, she brought back a suitcase of Harry Potter stories. After returning home, she was broke and living in a small cramp apartment. She continued writing and in 1995, she finished her first book in the series Harry Potter and the uh, Sorcerer's Stone. It was published in 1997 and she became an unexpected bestseller. Rowling's life has changed dramatically. She has become internationally famous and now she earns around 40 million uh, a year. She remarried, has a second child and currently lives in Scotland. In this case- Teacher, what yep. happened there is that the answer is not literal. Exactly. You have to, you have to find the idea. I have the answers if you want it. Yeah, no, we're going to do it right now. We're going to do it together. When okay. can you realize that she hated going to school, but she loved to read? In which moment? Sorry, that's the problem for me. I'm sorry, teacher, but for me, the article never the said that she, ni siquiera insinua that she hated go to the school. So for me, honestly, it, it, there is not a concurrency. I'm okay. sorry. It is not very, the, it's not a very clear thing. Hate that is you are hate, going to... teacher. Oh yeah, I know. I so know. Did you honest, do you understand? Tisha? I know, I know. I understand your I point. No, okay, I know, <laughs> I know. Second. I understand the point. I understand the point of Alejandro. And I know that in some cases we don't find the word hate exactly like that written on there. But uh, for example, in this case, we need to get a little bit in deep, right? For, uh, for this. So she was always making stories for her friends, it says. She was creating things for them. In this case, where can you get the idea that she hated going to school, but she always loved to read? Paragraph two. Now, it says paragraph two. Now, let's go to paragraph two. And it says she wanted to be a writer. She wanted to be a writer since a very young age. When she was six, she wrote her first book, her first story about a rabbit that gets sick. At school, she used to make up stories to tell her friends, right? She was not focused on school, maybe, but she was focused on creating things for her friends. So the idea, we can get it from there. It doesn't say that she hated, I agree with you. When asked about this popularity, she said, I really wrote it for myself. In which case, can you see that the book was for her? Uh -huh. Paragraph one. And it says, no one can explain the Harry Potter phenomenon, not even JK Rowling, his creator, right? It was like, it was a complete, a complete hit, right? She wrote it for her and she never imagined that it was going to become so popular. There were times where she couldn't even afford to eat. Paragraph five. Paragraph five, she was broke, it says. She was broke. When you are broke, you cannot afford to buy anything. You cannot buy anything because you don't have the money, right? There were times when she couldn't even afford to eat. This is paragraph number five. Right. What is the most important thing in this exercise? And it says, where do these sentences belong? Where in the paragraph could each sentence go? Okay, donde podrían poner cada una de estas frases? You need to read the instruction. That's why Alejandro was saying, but it doesn't say hate. Aha, uh -huh. but if we could include one sentence in each paragraph, there it is. That's why I always say, students, read the indication. Read the indication, read the instruction, right? These ones maybe are not there, but they could be in that paragraph. The next mm. one. Despite her fame and fortune, she's been able to keep her private life. Paragraph six. Paragraph six. Paragraph six. Because it says she was able to do it. It says 
It, her life has changed dramatically. She has become internationally famous and now she earns around 400 million, uh, 40 millions a year. She remarried, had a second child and currently lives in Scotland. In here, you can write, for example, despite her fame and fortune, she has been able to keep her private life. She didn't have a pen or paper with her, so she had to memorize it. Three. Paragraph, three. Three. Paragraph three. It says that she was on the train and she was thinking about all the things that she could make with these different characters of Harry Potter, right? So in this case, we have paragraph number three. And the last one, it was filled with 10 versions of the first chapter of the book. Four. 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 She kept working on the story while she was teaching English in Portugal, where she remarried and had her first child, right? When she returned back to England, she brought back a suitcase of Harry Potter stories. It was filled with 10 versions of the first chapter of the book. It was paragraph number four, okay? So in these ones, and I totally agree with Alejandro when he said, teacher, but it doesn't say hate. Pero donde podríamos haberlo puesto? In the paragraph where she said, no, I don't like to read. I love to read stories for my friends. <laughs> Maybe she hated school. Okay. This is a little bit different, right? Estamos bien acostumbrados a que leemos el párrafo y todo. Esto nos llevó un poquito más allá. Lo llevó un poquito más allá de su zona de uso de inglés, donde decimos, ¿cómo podríamos terminar ese párrafo? ¿Qué le podríamos poner para complementarlo? And this was the form of the exercise. This was a little bit difficult. It was a little bit more complicated than the normal exercises on the platform. Quizás este lo reto un poquito más. And I am sure. But it was exactly like that. We have to use our imagination. <laughs> it was it was a little bit of analysis in this case. It was a little bit of analysis. It's like, hmm, where, where can I make the click of this with the paragraphs? Okay. So it was good. It was a, a challenge for you. Alejandro, did I answer your question? No, teacher, thank you. Didn't I answer your question? No, teacher, thank you. <laughs> okay, and I was doing all my efforts explaining here and Alejandro didn't get the question. Okay, good. Ya ven, y yo aquí dejando mi vida. Okay, let's continue. Let's continue with the next one. And in this one, you had the midterm exams. In these exams, you had a little review of uh, what we have been doing here. And uh, on this listening, you were talking about the Egyptians and the different pyramids, right? And uh, we have different conversations in these ones. For this one, the Egyptian pyramids are buried in sand, were built by Napoleon, and are not open to tourists. What was the correct form here? Are buried in sand. Are not open to tourists. Are not open to tourists? What no. is the best what is the best thing you can do? Let's check it out. Ay, it's my friend. Go ahead. Siempre enfrente de los niños. Go ahead. Hey, cosita hermosa. Okay, here we go. There you go. Yes. Listen to the conversations. Check the correct answers. Can you listen? Yeah. yeah. One. Yes. How was your trip to Egypt? Oh, it was incredible. I finally got to visit the pyramids. And what did you think? I learned so much. Like, did you know that they were uncovered by Napoleon? Before he visited the country, they were buried in sand. Really? Do they know who built them? Yes, of course. They were built by the Egyptians. And did you go inside a pyramid? No. Most of the pyramids are closed to tourists. You can't go in, but I took a lot of photos from the outside. Do you want to see? Okay, in this case, 
they are not open to tourists and they were buried in sand in the past. They are not buried in sand anymore. And for sure, they were not built by Napoleon. They were built by the Egyptians, right? So the next one we have about Great Zimbabwe. It's two. Weren't you just on vacation in Africa? Well, actually, I was there for work, but I was able to take a couple of great trips that I'll never forget. Where did you go? I went to Victoria Falls on the border of Zimbabwe and Zambia. The falls are amazing. I really enjoyed the trip. I'd love to go there. What about your other trip? I visited a huge stone wall called Great Zimbabwe. The area inside the wall is supposed to be big enough to hold a city with 20,000 people. It's the largest monument in Southern Africa. So what happened to the city? No one really knows. I guess it's still a mystery. Great Zimbabwe is? The largest monument the in largest Southern the Africa. Large monument in Africa. The largest monument in Southern Africa. It is not a modern city with 20,000 people. It could hold a city with 20,000 people, right? And the one that is on the border of Zimbabwe and Zambia are the Victoria Falls. And Easter Island, where is this? Three. Welcome back. So how was Easter Island? I've never been anywhere like it. It's unique. What's so special about it? Well, first of all, it's very remote. Chile and Tahiti are over 3,000 kilometers away, but it's known mainly for the giant statues. Oh, yeah. I've seen photos of them. They were built by Polynesians who arrived there nearly 2,500 years ago. It sounds like you really enjoyed it. I did. It was like an open-air museum with the statues along the coast, archaeological sites, volcanic craters, and some fantastic beaches. In that case, four. Easter Island, what is a uh, non four? Has some large, has some large, some large statues. statues. Statues, right? The statues. Have you seen the Have you seen the, the big faces there? So they have some very, very large statues in Easter Island. And number four, it says the, the city where the woman lived. And here we have it. What have you been doing? I haven't seen you in a long time. I've been living abroad. I was working in Laos for a while. Laos? I just read an article about Laos. I've always wanted to go there. It's a beautiful country, especially the city where I lived. It was built at the point where the Mekong River meets the Khan River. Yeah, I think I read about it. Isn't that the place with lots of temples? Yeah, and fortunately, I had time to visit many of them. My favorite temple is called Golden City Monastery. It was built on the riverbank nearly 500 years ago. The city where the woman lived. It's located where two rivers meet. It's located where two rivers meet, right? She said the two names of the rivers that they meet exactly there in the city where she used to live. In this case, we have uh, the different conversations with different information, right? Teacher, I have a question. Yes. Sorry for interrupt. Uh, can you repeat the pronunciation of meet in past and in present? Okay, meet Met. Uh, is the city where the two rivers meet, meet, long E, double E, long E. And the other one is met, met. Thank you, teacher. Okay, this one is meet, when they meet. And the other one is when they met. That's short E and long E. That's the difference. And in this one, we have Joe and Marion. It's a conversation. In this one, what were they talking about? Who remembers that? Joe and Marion were bored by the Lord of the Rings movie. They thought Spider-Man was a better movie. Are interested in movies because of what they used to read. Who remembers Hi. this? Are interested because of what they, they used to read. read. What about Barbara? What do you remember from Barbara? <clears throat> Robin Affleck was the actor who started in Cold Mountain. In Cold Mountain. 
What does mandatory class attendance mean? It means that the teacher will lower your grade? It means, it means you must you attend must every class, every class during, during the semester. semester. Mandatory is obligatory, right? It's mandatory. What is true about the performance? You're not allowed, you're to, not allowed to receive to phone, phone calls. Phone, phone calls. calls. During a performance, you cannot use your cell phone, right? You are not allowed to receive phone calls. Okay, so this was the first listening that you had on the midterm exam. What about the second one? In this one, you have to rewrite the sentences. In this one, we were using exactly the same forms that we used before with the uh, relative clauses with who, which, and that. And in this one, you have to rewrite the sentences using who, that, or which. Remember to use the period in your sentences. In the first one, people. George Lucas directed the Star Wars movies. In this case, the instruction says, escriba las oraciones en voz pasiva usando by. Remember the first topic that we use at the beginning of the class. George Lucas directed the Star Wars movies. The Star Wars movies were directed by George Lucas, right? Remember the written form it's important right mm -hmm. tim berners lee developed the world wide web the world wide what? web was what? developed, developed by, 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 by tim berners. i am fleming wrote the james bond's novels the james, the james bond novels, james novels, james novels. novels. Where were written, written, written by Ian Fleming. Ian Fleming. Okay, where, because it's a plural, you have novels here. Gustave Eiffel designed the Eiffel Tower in Paris. The Eiffel Tower the Eiffel in Paris, Paris was Eiffel designed by Gustave Eiffel. 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 The Eiffel Tower, right? And in this one, with who, with that, or which? In this one, it says, comedies are a type of movie. They usually make people laugh. You are talking about a subject or an object. ¿De qué estamos hablando? Subject or object? Object. 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 Yeah. What is the object? object? Movie. movie. Comedy movies, right? Comedy comedies. Movies. In this case, you have to use which, which. or that. Or that. Or which. that. Which or that, the two of them. Two and a Half Men is a popular TV show. It starts Charlie Sheen. Who are, are you talking about? The person or the object? The, object. Person. the object. The person. Two and a Half Men. This es un programa. It's an object, right? It's okay. a popular TV show. It starts Charlie Sheen. El it, in this case, estamos hablando de Two and a Half Men, the show, which... Charlize Theron is an actress. She won an Oscar for her performance in Monster. Object or person? Person. 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 Who is the person? Oscar. Charlize Theron. Charlize Theron. Charlize Theron. Good, My very good job, right? And in this one, you have to be very careful with the written form, right? The Star Wars movie, right? Star Wars, tiene que ir en mayúsculas porque es nombre propio. The Star Wars movie were directed by George Lucas, George Mayúscula, Lucas Mayúscula, because it's name and last name and period, okay? You have to be very careful with that. The World Wide Web, las tres en mayúscula, ¿por qué? Name, it's a name, it's a proper name, was developed by Tim Berners-Lee. You Tim have to be Berners careful, right? Lee. Tim no. Berners-Lee, that's the name, it's proper name, capital. The James Bond, name, right? Capital were written by Ian Fleming, capitals. The Eiffel Tower in Paris, Paris, también en mayúscula, todo en mayúscula porque es nombre propio, was designed by Gustave Eiffel, right? And in this one, what we were talking, comedies are the type of movie which usually make people laugh, period, right? And the other one, it says that, which or that. Two and a Half Men is a popular TV show, show which starts Charlie Sheen. Charlie Sheen con mayúscula, porque es nombre propio. And the last one, Charlize Theron, is an actress who won an Oscar for her performance in Monster. Okay, 
So be careful with the capitals, ¿ok? Si no les acepta la respuesta, puede ser por las mayúsculas o por el punto. Ok, so be very careful with that. The next one that we have here. Completing the choice. English. Is it spoke or is it spoken? Spoken. Okay. Spoken. Spoken. Past tense, right? Past, uh, passive voice. Spanish and Portuguese. Are oh, thought. It oh, cannot be thought porque esto no existe, right? Rice. It's grown. It's grown. That's the past participle form, right? And in uh -huh. this one, I, my best friend, while I was taking a business course. Simple past and past continuous. I met. 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 I met, right? Because you cannot say I, I was meeting. Porque aquí tenemos el past uh, continuous, past. right? I met. I met mm -hmm. my best friend while I was taking, right? Aquí tienes la otra opción. Where we were sleeping, but the storm woke, 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 woke us woke. up. We were woke. sleeping, woke right? Up. You have the past participle here. Ted, when his cell phone suddenly went dead. What the was, was talking, right? Very good job. Stalking. Okay. In this one is the one that we were using before. I think animating films are fascinating. Fascinating. fascinating, fascinating. Right? So you have fascinating. 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 And you have to write only the adjective, right? You don't have to write anything else. We're both interested. 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 In reading Amy Tan's latest book, I was surprised, surprised. 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 to right. see Marisa surprised. and Mitchell at the party. Renting a movie is a boring, 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 boring way to spend Saturday boring. night. And there you go. There you have it. And uh, in the next one that you have, you need to circle the words, right? And it's a circle in the words. You have to use the correct uh, word. You have to show, you have the, the options and you have to choose one. One of the crops grown in Guatemala is? Coffee. 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 You cannot grow the, the cattle and the shrimp as well. You cannot do it. Our manufacturer in California. Microchip. Microchip. The Microchip. oysters are not possible. I plan to graduate this semester, but unfortunately, 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 desafortunadamente, right? I failed my exams. I was looking for a job when miraculously, I won the lottery. Things that will never happen to me, right? Miraculously, miraculously. Miraculously. It's a miracle. Miraculously. Miracle. The musical yeah. was terrible. 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 I didn't enjoy it at all. This book is fantastic. fantastic. I just started and I cannot put it down. People hated everything about the movie. What a Dreadful. 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 Dreadful film that made you feel bad, sad. It was horrible, right? And in the last one, you had another reading, right? And because of the time, I'm not going to go over the reading as I did in the, in the previous one, but it says, your friend gives you an ugly shirt for your birthday. You say, oh, it's great. You are lying to hide something, lying to make an excuse, lying to make someone feel good, or lying to avoid sharing bad news. It is, oh, my friend. Lying to make someone feel good. You are lying to make someone feel good. It's like, ah, it was beautiful. Thank you. I love it. And you never use it, right? But you cannot say like, ay, que horrible. <laughs> you cannot do that because you will mm -hmm. make someone feel bad. But if you love him or her, it will never happen. You lost your job and you are having trouble finding a new one. When an old friend calls to find how you are, you say you are doing well. Bad news. Number four. Lying to avoid, to avoid, sharing, bad news. Lying to avoid sharing bad news, right? Because you are not going to say, terrible, I don't have a job, I don't have this. I, no, 
You don't want to do that. Someone you don't like invites you to a movie and you say you have already mm -hmm. seen it. You are lying to, to make an excuse. Lie. Lying to make an excuse, make an right? An excuse. You say, sorry, I have to I have to shower the cat. I know it's very terrible. I you have are to go to the movie. <laughs> I have to go. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't want to go to the movie. You are planning a surprise party for a friend to get him cover. Uh, come over at the right time you ask him to stop by to see your new mice yeah. more bicycle line to hide something because you don't want the person to see it right please don't lie okay it is not good well by dear class that was the midterm test right and that was all about the platform that we are supposed to be finished by now so I hope uh, it has been helpful for you. Espero que les haya ayudado. A ¿Alguna duda que tenían todavía? So I am going to call the attendance and you can leave as soon as I call your name, okay? Let me see. Let me open here. My list. Here we go. Okay, as soon as you, I call your name, you can disconnect, don't worry. Alba Colombina. Present teacher. Alejandro Jose. Present teacher. Alicia Guadalupe. Present teacher. Ana. Present teacher. Andrea Geraldine. Present teacher. Andrea Michelle. Present. Blanca Marisol. Present teacher. Thank you. Boris Martin. Here teacher. Brian Isaac. Brian say in the chat present. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know. I understood, yeah. Uh, I remember. Denise Isaias? Present. Daisy Carolina? Present teacher. Dina Elizabeth? Present teacher. Elba Carolina? Present teacher. Eric Ernesto? Present teacher. Erika Maidel? Present teacher. Thank you. Francisco Alberto? Present teacher. Iris Regina. Is here teacher. Jenny Elizabeth. Present. Jessica Janet. Present teacher. Jose Ereidin. Present teacher. Juan Eduardo. Present teacher. Katia Graciela. Present teacher. Marita Isabel. Present teacher. Miguel Ángel. Present teacher. Nadia. Present teacher. Noemi. Present teacher. Ricardo de Jesús. Present teacher. Ronald Antonio. Present teacher. Sara Naida. Nalda, sorry. Pre present teacher. En Vidal. Present teacher. Yay, I have perfect attendance today. Yay. <laughs> Primer día que tengo asistencia perfecta. Fantastic, fantastic. Yay. Cuetes. Siempre hay una primera vez. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much. Well, my dear class, I am going to see you on Monday for your next class. Have a wonderful night. Sleep well. Enjoy your bye week. Bye, good thank night, you. Have a great night. Bye. Bye. Bye.